The night is black and the stars are bright and the sea is dark and deep. Mm. But someone I know is safe and snug and they're drifting off to sleep. Round and round, a little boat no bigger than your hand, out on the ocean, far away from land. Take the little sail down, light the little light. This is the way to the garden in the night. Eagle, Eagle, Onk, we are going to catch. The Ninky Donk. Oh no, it's the Ninky Donk. Catch the Ninky Donk. Pontypines. The Pontypines are friends of mine, although they're only small, and even when there's ten of them, they're hardly there at all. One Pontypine, two Pontypines, three Pontypines, four Pontypines, five Pontypines, six Pontypines, seven Pontypines, eight Pontypines, nine Pontypines, ten Pontypines. Macapaca. Hello, Macapaca. Macapaca, aka waka, mika maka moo. Macapaca, apa yaka, ika aka oo. Hum dum, agapang, ing ang oo. Macapaca, aka waka, mika maka moo. Macapaca. 
snack a packer. Time for Macapaca to wash the Pontypine's faces. There, the Pontypine's faces are all clean. Pines are visiting the Wattingers. Oh dear, the Wattingers are not at home. Maybe the Wattingers have gone for a walk in the garden. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ponty Pines, are you looking for the Wattingers? <laughs> Pines, are the Wattingers among the stones? <laughs> Pines, are the Wattingers inside the log? <laughs> Ponty Pines, are the Wattingers by the button? <laughs> Pines? Are the Wattingers down the teeny tiny hole? <laughs> Wattingers in the flower pots? <laughs> Look at that. The Ponty Pines are still looking for the Wattingers. Where are the Wattingers? <laughs> The Ninky Long. <laughs> Who's riding on the Ninky Long? The Wattingers. Wave 
Thanks to the washing dress. Pontipines, catch the ninky nog. Washingers. Wave to the washingers. <laughs> Quick, punky pines, catch the ninky nonk. <laughs> The game. Wave to the watchers. <laughs> Quick, Pontypines, catch the ninky nonk. <laughs> Nonk has stopped. <laughs> the Wattingers are going home. the Wattingers. <laughs> the Pontypines chase the Ninky Nonk all around the garden to find the Wattingers. Isn't that a pip?
Titifers have sung their song. Time to go to sleep, Pontypines. A story. Once upon a time, in the night garden. The Pontypines went to visit the Wattingers. Where are the Wattingers? Not among the stones. Not inside the log. Not behind the button. Not down the teeny tiny hole. And not in the flower pots. Where are the Wattingers? There are the Wattingers. Riding on the Ninky Nonk. The Pontypines love waving to the Wattingers. Time to go to sleep, Conti Pines. <laughs> go to sleep, Tombly Boos.
go to sleep, upsy daisy. Go to sleep, Macapaca. Go to sleep, Harboos. Go to sleep, Ninky Nonk. And go to sleep, Pinky Ponk. Go to sleep, everybody. Wait a minute. Somebody's not in bed. <laughs> Who's not in bed? Eagle Piggle's not in bed. <laughs> Don't worry, Eagle Piggle. It's time to go. Is the moon really round? Well, what do you think? Can you see it through your window? Is it green, blue or pink? Is it hairy with some fairies? Does it smile or does it frown? Does it wear a great big silly shiny sparkly crown? Is the moon really round? Well, what do you think? Maybe you could find out by giving it a wink. So far this week in the CBeebies Bedtime Hour, we've made an Iggle Piggle an upsy daisy and two hahoos from the night garden. Well, who are we going to make with these pebbles? Who likes pebbles? Of course, Macapaca is almost finished. Now, I've just put together some pebbles. Oh, I need another one for his foot. And I also have some modeling dough with some sticky tack for his ears. One, two, and some more for the top of his head. Macapaca, Macapaca. Why don't you have a go at making friends from the night garden? Look on the CBBS website for more information. bbc.co.uk slash CBBS and look on the In the Night Garden pages. Today I went exploring. I found a place with lots of very, very bouncy people. Let's celebrate! Then I climbed a tree full of questions. Ah, oh, Beezer! 
and found a garden where everyone talks completely differently. Also, I discovered you can even talk with your hands. Hello. I helped build a lovely house. Well done. And then I went into space. Then the elephant said it was time to go home. That's a shame. So I said goodbye to all my friends. See you soon another time. And now it's time for bed. But tomorrow I'm going to do it all again with CBBs. Hello, my name is Floella and I'm here to tell you a bedtime story. Are you comfy and cosy? Good. Now, in tonight's story, there's an animal with orange and black stripy fur. Do you know what animal that might be? I'll give you a clue. It has four legs and goes... <laughs> That's right, it's a tiger. And they normally live in the jungle but not in tonight's story. It's called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Well, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, Hmm, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because... This isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his key. we better open the door and see. Sophie, open the door. And there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. Tiger said, Excuse me, but I am very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, yes, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing to eat on the table. So Sophie's mum said, <laughs> uh, Would you like a drink? The tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and all the tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said... Mmm, thank you for my nice tea. I think I better go now. And he went. Oh, Sophie's mummy said, Oh, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger's eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drank all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's dad came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. Sophie's daddy said, Hmm, I know what we'll do. I've got a good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a calf. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a calf and they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and mmm ice cream. In the morning Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they brought lots more things to eat and they also bought a very big tin of tiger food just in case the tiger should come to tea again but he never did. 
And that story was called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I wonder if the tiger will come to tea here at CBB's. I think I should make sure we have lots of food in the cupboard just in case. But while I have a look, it's time for you to go to sleep. Just in case the tiger comes to tea tomorrow. Night, night, and I'll see you soon. Hmm, now maybe there's some tins of tiger food here in the cupboard. The time has come to say good night, to say sleep tight till the morning light. Oh, the time has come to say good night. It's the end of a lovely day. We've had so much fun today. Tomorrow's just a dream away. And now it's time to say good night at the end of a lovely day.